making some jugs and I'm trying a new type of spout. These are thrown as small cylinders basically, like a tiny tumbler that you then cut at an angle out, rounded base, um, so it's sort of self-contained and then that's stuck on the side which gives a pouring spout. Um, and the nice thing with that is you can throw a sharp lip on it um, and a round pot and it sticks on quite nicely. It's a very easy shape to throw. I'm throwing them the day after I've thrown the main body because that takes a bit longer to dry. This is still um, I'm just going past leather hard greenware. So this will be glazed in a few days. And I haven't actually tested this yet, but I like the shape and it should pour quite well. So um, I'll just put this back and then I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so throwing a cylinder a couple of inches tall, a couple of inches wide, and then trying to picture it on the side of a pot. Okay, so that should do. And then what I want to do is give it a sharp lip. So when that's angled out, that'll give a good, good pour, or should give a good pour. still on the back. And I'll set that aside for a couple of hours. It's a warm day today so it's not going to take very very small so it's not going to take very long to dry at all. Um, and then I'll show the wiring off and how I cut it um, in a moment. Right so this is a few hours later and um, this is now leather hard. What I want to do is just burnish the inside and outside with my fingers to make it smoother. Check the rims sharp, so that's all good. Then um, you can trim more off to give this a rounded bottom without having to trim it after it's off the wheel. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut down at an angle, so starting from basically the middle and cutting down to the bottom corner in a straight line. So you now have a spout. And you can, in fact I'm going to do it because why not? If you're careful about it, you can get two out of one shape. Then I am turning this into a drippy, slippy um, jug. So I've got my jug. This is nice and well, actually, probably too dry. Unfortunately, it is a warm day today. Everything's drying quickly, and um, this got slightly more dry than I intended when I was faffing about with other stuff. So, not ideal, but um, could be okay. Might crack around the seams slightly. So, what I want to do is check. So what I was saying about the angle and the positioning, probably well placed to see it. So I can get those above the level of the rim, and in theory, I need to cut a notch out. 
out of bottom because this doesn't match the curve of the jug but when it does um, obviously it angles downwards like that which means that these bits can be will be higher than that they can be higher than the rim and then you can cut across level there to get a, a nicer um, where they where they meet it'll be a similar thickness rather than the really sharp peak that I've given the um, the pouring lip so what I'm doing here I should really have brought a scalpel over as well but um, just trimming off so this meets flush and you want to get this right before you get any slip anywhere near it so go something like that I'll cut the top level um, and I'll cut the inside out once I've added the slip so the only thing left to do is I want to get my laser set up and that is going to show me where vertical and centre is so the easiest way is to line it across the bat pins so if it hits both bat pins it's pointing right across the centre and that line is vertical. I've got my hand all ready to go as well. Check the shape of, in fact actually that's a bit on the soft side but um, this is just a test anyway. And this syringe is getting a bit old and normally replace them once they start to bind like this you end up getting more slip than you want none then everything seam as long as you compress the two together the slip will um, stick them together you don't necessarily need to score and this goes for everything but normally scoring is easy so it's a no-brainer whereas on this it's not quite so easy so get the height tricky to do this so that the camera can see so I'm going to assume that's about right actually looks like it's at an angle but I don't think it can be too bad just because the heights of it. So just compress as best you can. And then I'm going to come along once this is firmed up a bit and cut the inside out because at the moment obviously the inside of the spout is still there. So there'll be some tidying up to do tomorrow and I've got a bit of slip on there that I'll have to need up. 
But what I now want to do is, which I should have put the laser level a bit higher. Um, so then you can see where it projects across to the other side. Sort of ruin that now. Um, the laser level is flashing because it's not. There we go. Right. So, on the basis that that's still roughly where it was, now you can see it's shining on the centre of the spout, which means that is exactly opposite. slip Should do. Bit more neatening up once it's dry, but in principle, drippy slippy jug. Just a quick video to show how the uh, finished jug pours. It's not the best spout I've ever made, but it does work. Try and pour super slowly, it does dribble around a bit. But for the most part, it's fine. 